Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a little while since I have sat down and had the time to record a video. To be honest, my life has been very busy. <laughs> my number one focus for the past month has been school, so I've been kind of neglecting my creative outlets, except for TikTok. Go and follow me there if you want to see some shenanigans that I get into. I just really like the uh, platform for editing videos and creating like short content. So I've been having really um, a lot of fun with that. But I've also been neglecting my YouTube channel, um, my vlog channel, and my YouTube channel. Luckily, I have found the time in the last week to record two videos, one for my YouTube channel and one for my vlog channel, so that will be going up shortly after or before this video. And I finally have the time to record a long-awaited main channel video, and I'm very excited to be with you all today. So along with neglecting my creative outlets, to be honest, I have been a little bit neglectful of my sacred um, spiritual outlets, my altar that you see behind me, and just my own um, practices. I haven't been upkeeping them or really doing them because I've just been so focused on school, <laughs> which is good, but I am learning that I need to have the balance and I need to have a fresh start with my um, practices and my spiritual practices, and I just need to clean and cleanse, really. The last time I did one of these videos was almost a year ago when I was still living in Seattle and my altar space, my practices have changed so much since then so this will be cool to see kind of where I'm at uh, spiritually nowadays. I've also been wanting to do an updated altar tour for you all so this will kind of be a mix of both. You will just be coming along, me cleaning my altar, reorganizing it, uh, cleansing my crystals. It is a Leo full moon so it is the perfect time to do this. I've been also wanting to create a kind of like beauty altar where I can do my makeup so that is also on the list. When I was younger I used to rearrange my room like once a month I think and something that I would do is sketch out my room and then where I would want all of the things to go beforehand. So I did that. This is just a little sketch of this wall right here that has uh, double doors that are locked right now because it's cold so we don't open them. Two windows and this is where I have my altar space over here behind me and I just recently got a little coffee table to have a desk space. I personally really like sitting on the floor when I work so this is perfect for me. And I recently just rearranged the opposite corner space of this area so I will be trying to just kind of more zen out this area and make it fresh and clean and dust and do all the things that I need to do. So after that long-winded intro, without further ado, welcome to the video. Go grab yourself a snack, a joint, a coffee, tea, whatever you need, and I am excited for you to stay. Let's get going. So this is the space that we're working with. I backed up so you can see it a little bit better. It just goes along this wall. Uh, this back here, this is my side of the bed. So I have my like main altar space back here with a bunch of different shelves just crammed into that corner. And then I have the desk. And this area right here, I would like to make a beauty altar slash just like makeup area for me. Um, I think that would be nice and I would really appreciate that so I'm gonna do that for myself on this Leo full moon because it's a day to take care of yourself. Goodness gracious, where do I begin? <laughs> okay, so first things I'm gonna do is just kind of clear out this area where I want my beauty altar to be. Do y'all want to hear something that's so exciting? I moved this snake plant the other day and I found so many little baby snake plants that are popping up. There are a few behind there too, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
I thought that snake plant was like, well, I kind of knew that it was dormant, like it wasn't um, growing for a while, but I am so happy that it is growing again. Thank you, Focus. Okay. <laughs> so now that this area is cleared out, I need to clear off the chest that I'm gonna move over here. It already houses all of my makeup. I just wanna take out the things that I would like to keep on that side of my altar space rather than my beauty side of the altar space. <laughs> here she is in all her glory. This chest was given to me by my grandparents when I was younger. My grandmother painted on it. It's so beautiful and it has this green velvet and I've been using it ever since. I love it so much. So I am just going to be cleaning this off and anything that I want to keep over this side, I'm just going to put on this altar. It's kind of how I clean. I kind of move things and then move things and then move things where I want. I mean, that is cleaning. You just move things around and then put them where. I'm just going to do it, okay? <laughs> Candlestick, my plant that is in a broken bong, salt, nature, beads. This is what I mean when I was kind of neglected. I had so much, I just have so much random things on here. I really need to make new moon water, so I'll be doing a lot of things. bother going through the drawers because I already know that they're pretty organized and I just have my makeup in them and then other things that I don't need to take out so now I'm gonna move this over there so I'm gonna start with this side first because over there needs a lot of cleaning and I would rather get this side, which is already clean, I just need to set it up, uh, done. This, however, is not clean. I need to wipe down the incense and things in here because I don't think I'm gonna have this open. I think I'm gonna have it closed um, just so I can have my mirror on it and crystals around it and it won't be as exposed, I guess. this be down. I'm not really gonna store anything in here because I'm not gonna open it very much. Uh, the only thing I am going to store are two journals that I don't write in very often but I just want them to be safe. And now it's latched. Okay the next thing is to do the top of this so let me grab the things that I'm going to decorate with. There's one more thing that I have to do over on that side of the wall, but it requires this shelf, so I have to clean it off and then move it over there. There's a lot going on here.
Dictionary is kind of chaotic, but I can fix that. is clean we're gonna do the big move I'm gonna swap this lamp in this shelf opposite sides because I would like to have the lamp for while I'm reading in bed and then I'm gonna just put this more centered into the window and organize and clean and do all the things and maybe I'll just bring it <sighs> which is, oh my gosh, uh, gonna take the longest over here, but that's why I'm speeding this bitch up for y'all, so it's even a few seconds, less than a minute, but like, it's gonna be an hour for me or so. Let's see how long it is. I'm starting at 1 p.m. I'm gonna have some coffee. Let's see how fast I can do this.
my goodness. So, I took a quick break because I needed to charge my camera, but we have finished the bookshelf. And now I want to focus on this space, which is my main altar space that I want to work at or start working at. Originally it was the chest. So yeah, I'm just going to get started with this. You know the drill, going to take everything off, wipe it all down, make it look cute, and I'll be back in a little bit. process than I thought it was gonna be. There goes Toad again. <laughs> so I just finished this altar portion of my space and now I'm going to decorate this lamp area next to my now it's now gonna be my bedside table and then clean up everything else that I took out from these shelves and whatnot. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I will just show you when it's done. So I will be back in a little bit. Hey, so it's been like an hour. <laughs> I took a quick break because I had to run to the post office. I got myself a Yerba, so I gotta do homework later. But more importantly, I finished. I finished. I did it, Tony. I did it, mama. So let me give you a little tour of what I have going on now. So it's gonna be doing this with me. This is my new beauty altar slash makeup space, really. I just have all of the things that I need. All my makeup are in these drawers. I have my hair stuff down there. I have scarves to style my hair. My earrings are all on this earring holder. That was actually my mom's and she gave me when I moved out. So very glad I have that. I have my mirror, of course, and just some things that I thought I would enjoy in this space. And then over here, I have my spiritual altar that I'll be working with. I have my tarot decks here, a crystal field. I have my sound bowl back here in the corner. This shelf is really just to display all the beautiful things that I have, but I do have like my supplements up here and uh, oils that I like to put on my skin, things like that. I have my rock collection and just some pretty things up at the top. And then my lovely lamp bedside table. It doesn't have a whole lot going on. It just has my glasses case, a little lavender pillow spray, the current book I'm reading, and some candles down at the bottom. I love how everything turned out and I'm so thankful that I did this for myself, especially on this Leo full moon. I definitely needed some time dedicated to myself and my space and my spiritual practice, so I'm very thankful that I gave myself that. Okay, the last thing that I am going to do is of course cleanse this space. I will be cleansing the shelf, the altar space here, and my new beauty altar space over there. And I will do that now if you so please would like to watch. <laughs>
you so much for watching this video everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you do something for yourself this Leo full moon. This is where I leave you. As always, you can follow me on my other social medias. Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok are all TikTok. TikTok are all Aura of the Forest. My vlog channel is Aura of Life and my YouTube channel is Cat's Kush and everything is in the description. By the way, I am working on a new collection for my apothecary that will come out sometime in February. Still haven't figured out the exact dates, but look forward to that. And I also still have some candles for my winter solstice collection still available if you would like to purchase them. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Again, thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!